There are laws, of course, requiring kids ride in car seats, but not pets. Yet they, too, become victims of crashes. CBS 4 Suzanne McCarroll shows us how to keep them safe. Jane. Hi, sweetie. You know, I've always been scared of car crashes and the dogs getting loose. <laughs> Crate. Laura Galisa's fears came true when the car she and her friend David and their two dogs were driving was involved in a serious crash. The dogs were safe. Um, they were bruised up quite a bit and banged around, but they did survive a pretty horrendous front end crash. They were glad the dogs were in crates, but those crates didn't hold up as well as they'd hoped. Jade managed to jump out of the crate at the crash scene and was lost in Yellowstone for 43 days. If you slam on the brakes, they can go flying through the window. Uh, they can, uh, if there is an accident, they can jump out of the car and get caught in, in traffic. Dr. Dana Waldbaum at Pets on Broadway says the staff there urges clients to keep their dogs in crates whenever they travel. What pet owners don't realize, however, is that most of the products that we've purchased for our pets for travel in the vehicle have never been tested um, or crash tested. <laughs> But now, thanks to her organization, the Center for Pet Safety, crates are being tested. They use stuffed animals. Watching how some crates perform is frightening to anyone who loves animals. The anchor points for the crate are critically important to ensure that the product does not release from uh, if you do get into a you know, sudden stop or an accident. In some of these crash tests, the crate itself appears to pose a flying danger. So the kind you choose matters tremendously. Big box pet stores have shelves of crates. The ones that did particularly well in these crash tests are the following. Gunner kennel with anchor straps. The Sleepy Pod mobile pet bed with a handle lock. The Pet Ego Forma Frame jet set carrier with a latch connection. Hop in. Jade and company are back home, happily reunited, taking rides only in the specifically designed back of the family car where she and Layla are quite used to their home away from home. After what you went through in Wyoming, would you ever take your dogs loose in a car again? No, no never. Suzanne McCarroll, CBS 4 News. Well, we have put more video of crash tests on our website for you, as well as information about contacting the Center for Pet Safety. All you have to do is visit cbsdenver.com. Vic's up next with sports.